Sister Sage, the newest member of the Seven and supposedly the smartest person alive, has a dark secret as she needs regular lobotomies to survive. This shocking revelation came in the fourth episode of The Boys' fourth season, leaving viewers bewildered and disgusted. But why does someone with such a powerful intellect need to intentionally damage their own brain? The brilliance of Sage comes at a steep price. Her brain, unlike those of ordinary humans, continues to grow uncontrollably. This relentless expansion leads to excruciating pain and, if left unchecked, would ultimately prove fatal. To avert this grisly fate, she must periodically excise portions of her brain tissue through a gruesome procedure known as transorbital lobotomy. In essence, she sacrifices a part of her intellect to ensure her survival. This archaic and barbaric procedure, popularized in the mid-20th century, involves inserting a sharp instrument resembling an ice pick through the eye socket to sever connections in the brain's prefrontal cortex. The part of the brain responsible for higher order functions like personality, decision making, and social behavior. In Sage's case, the brutality of this act is amplified by the fact that most of the time she performs it on herself. The show doesn't shy away from depicting the gruesome reality, showing blood splattering across her face and the disturbing sound of metal piercing bone. This scene underscores the desperation and extreme measures Sage is willing to take to manage her unique condition. The transorbital lobotomy, while initially hailed as a miracle cure for various mental illnesses, quickly fell out of favor due to its devastating consequences. Patients often experienced severe personality changes, becoming apathetic, emotionally blunted, and lacking in initiative. Cognitive impairments, such as memory loss and difficulty concentrating, were also common. In the worst cases, the procedure led to death. The repeated lobotomies have undoubtedly taken a toll on her mental and emotional state. The drastic personality shifts she experiences after each procedure are a testament to the damage inflicted on her brain. Her erratic behavior, impulsive decisions, and emotional outbursts are likely the result of the severed connections in her prefrontal cortex. Sage's condition presents a unique opportunity for the boys, the vigilante group dedicated to exposing the dark underbelly of the superhero world. Her weakened state following each lobotomy makes her susceptible to manipulation and interrogation. The boys could potentially extract valuable information from her during these vulnerable moments, information that could prove instrumental in their ongoing battle against Vought International and the Seven. The main question remains, why does she need a lobotomy and damage her brain? Well, the answer isn't simple, but her vast knowledge and analytical abilities expose her to the darkest depths of human depravity including the horrors perpetrated by Homelander and the complicity of her own actions within the Seven. The weight of this knowledge, the constant awareness of the moral compromises she has made, and the guilt that gnaws at her conscience become an unbearable burden. Sage's mind, a relentless machine of analysis and deduction, becomes her tormentor. It relentlessly replays her mistakes, amplifying her guilt and shame. The constant barrage of thoughts and emotions a consequence of her hyper-awareness, leaves her feeling trapped and suffocated. In a desperate attempt to escape this psychological torture chamber, she turns to the lobotomy as a means of self-inflicted oblivion. The lobotomy, in essence, is a form of self-imposed ignorance. By sacrificing a part of her intellect, Sage can momentarily achieve a state of blissful unawareness, where the weight of her knowledge and the consequences of her actions are temporarily forgotten. It is a desperate attempt to find solace in the darkness, to silence the voices of her conscience, and to escape the unbearable burden of her own brilliance. However, this escape is only temporary. As her brain heals and her cognitive functions return, so too does the weight of her knowledge and the accompanying guilt. The lobotomy is not a cure, but rather a brief reprieve a fleeting moment of peace in a life consumed by inner turmoil. Also, the change in her behavior due to lobotomy has led to an unexpected connection with the Deep, a superhero known for being less intelligent. Before, the Deep thought Sage was a bit of a know-it-all, but now he finds her more relaxed and easy to talk to. This is because the procedure on her brain has temporarily made her less focused on being the smartest person and more open to connecting with others. This new connection led to a surprising romantic encounter between the two. However, it's unclear if this is just a short-lived fling due to Sage's temporary brain changes, or if it could turn into something more serious. But, 
Beyond the physical and psychological trauma, the question of Sage's motivations lingers. Why would someone blessed with such extraordinary intelligence choose to align themselves with the Seven, a group notorious for its depravity and abuse of power? One theory suggests a deep-seated need for validation. Despite her intellectual gifts, Sage may feel overlooked and undervalued, seeking recognition and acceptance through her association with Homelander, the most powerful and feared superhero in the world. Another possibility lies in Sage's unwavering belief in the importance of order and stability. She may view the Seven, despite their flaws, as the only force capable of maintaining some semblance of control in a world teeming with superpowered individuals. Her actions, no matter how morally questionable, could be driven by a misguided sense of duty and a desire to prevent chaos from engulfing society. What do you think? Will she continue down a path of self-harm and manipulation? Or will she find a way to break free from the cycle of pain and embrace her true potential?